welcome you to Dow High School for this varsity girls soccer matchup between the Midland Chemex and the Dow Chargers. My name is Caleb Frank and I will be your announcer for all of the action here tonight. We have a packed crowd not only with the soccer fans but we have JV baseball behind me, the varsity baseball team over there, as well as many other spring sport teams practicing. And this one, we got a good matchup. It's going to be the rivalry between Midland and Dow. So you know that both teams are going to bring their A game. We're just a couple of minutes away from this getting opening. And while we do that, let's talk about MCTV. You can watch replays of this Midland Chemex versus Dow Chargers girls soccer game on the MCTV network. MCTV's channels can be found on Charter Spectrum channels 188 through 191 in Midland and through channel 99 on AT&T's U-verse. This game is also live streaming on MCTV's network Community Voices YouTube channel on Roku and Apple TV in beautiful high definition. Check out MCTV's website at cityofmidlandmi.gov slash MCTV to watch this program live or on demand. Follow us on Facebook to learn more about community media and Midland. We are about one and a half minutes before the national anthem, before we get started between this varsity soccer matchup. You see some fans coming in, both teams representing as this crosstown rivalry matchup. There you see the captain for Midland, number two, Lucy Kripe. Her senior defender will look to lead this Chemex team. This game between Midland and Dow is sure to be a good one with it being such a gold rivalry. Both teams coming out, both teams you want to win this game. This is the game that you mark on your calendars. It's the one that you prepare extra for both teams wanting to make sure that they come out on top after this varsity soccer matchup. The pregame wrapping up real quickly as at this time, we're gonna toss it over to the National Anthem and when it's done, we're gonna come back and we're gonna have varsity soccer between Midland and Dow. Hello everyone and welcome to the Dow High versus Midland High soccer game. Everybody, please rise for the playing of our national anthem. the Midland High roster. Lucy Kripe. Yeah. Lauren Reborn. Yeah. Ian Oskin. Yeah. Kennedy Thurlow. Yeah. Lexi Rusegger. Yeah. Chloe Rajeski. Yeah. Savannah Willis. Yeah. Maddie Scott. Yeah. Kimmy Wiggins. Yeah. Jackie Brown. Yeah. Karen Hogemeyer. Grace Szepanski, Lauren Shepard, Paige Freed, Ainsley Newcomb, 
and Sydney Schaefer. And now for your Dow High Chargers. Starting off at number 66, Jessica Erickson. Number two, Reagan King. Number four, Elizabeth Avery. Number six, Chloe McVeigh. Number seven, Piper Beale. Number eight, Sarah Sharp. Number nine, Elena Schock. Number 10, Maddie Estes. Number 11, Jordan Dana. Number 12, Lindsey Hart. Number 13, Kylie Chartier. Number 14, Tristan Lewick. Number 15, Lucy T. Number 16, Anna Early. Number 17, Ashlyn Swartz. Number 18, Claire Cardwell. Number 21, Hannah Redman. Number 22, Busy Hey Danny. And number 23, Kennedy Caldwell. Both rosters getting announced as we are moments away from this game getting underway between this rivalry matchup between the Dow Chargers and the Midland Chemex. Dow making their way out onto the field now as Midland is going to be in the team huddle before. Dow is going to start with the ball. That is number nine, Elena Schalk, who's gonna get things underway. Schalk, just a sophomore. Dow utilizing some underclassmen as Kylie Chartier, as well as Kennedy Caldwell out there with Shock. And here come the Midland Chemics making their way out onto the field as we are gonna get underway in just a few moments. The goalkeepers for each team first for the Dow Chargers, just a sophomore number 66, Jessica Erickson in the goal and for the Midland Chemics, the junior number 14, Maddie Scott. Referee making sure right number of players on the field. Starts the clock and we're underway with Dow as they will send it into the defense of Midland. Turnover picked up by Dow. Caldwell has it, working her way up the field. And will lose the ball over to the Chemex. 40 minutes on the clock in this first half between these two rival schools as Midland will throw it in before going right back to Dow. Both teams having possession for a few moments as this first minute in the first half now in possession of the Chemex. The throw in from Lauren Shepard goes to a Dow player, that being Reagan King. Good ball movement by the Chemex so far, intercepted by Jordan Dana, the junior, before working it back up. Solid battle between Dow's Kylie Chartier and Midland's Lauren Shepard goes out of bounds, so we'll get from the corner for Dow. And this will be the first corner kick of the night for either team, that being Jordan Dana will be in the corner. This kick going just over the outstretched head of Chartier and will lose possession. Another throw in for Dow, working the ball. They've had possession most of this first half, but no score to show for it. Midland trying to get their first real possession as Dow started with the ball and is 
been on their side of the field since we started. Just under 37, 37 43 left in this first half. No score so far. This ball will go out of bounds and possession will stay with the Chargers. Chargers in their black uniforms with the yellow numbering outlined in green. The Chemex in their white uniforms with blue numbering and lettering on the front and back. This one going out of bounds as Dow's Elizabeth Avery will throw it in. Midland once again taking possession before taking it out of bounds and Avery will throw it in once again. Avery kicks it in to Maddie Estes and Estes will get a kick and this one will go right out of, won't go in the goal but go out of bounds and now Midland will have possession. Maddie Scott will go and pick it up, the goalkeeper. This will be a, another corner kick, this one for the Chargers. Jordan Dana will now go to the opposite side of the field to kick it in again. Here's the corner kick from Dana. This one up. And Midland will get it out. A nice kick by Midland to get the ball back to the defenders of the Chargers. Lucy Teed now has the ball before taken by a chemic, but it will stay possession with the Chargers. Elizabeth Avery will throw it in once again. And now the first opportunity for the Chemex to be on offense, they're working it in and once again stolen by the Chargers. Good defense by the Chemex to stop that breakaway play for the Chargers as Dow will keep possession, working it back to their defenders. They'll transfer it over to the opposite side of the field and once again retain the possession. Dow has a perfect opportunity, weaving through some Chemic defenders and hitting the turf. Kennedy Caldwell gets right back up and a shot will go wide out of bounds. So far it's been Dow with all of the shots, opportunities, no score so far. Midland had a little bit of time where they were on offense, but for the most part they have been on their heels defending, trying to not give up the first goal of the contest. Lucy Kripe will now kick it for Midland and she kicks it and it will go. It was actually intercepted by Dow. Midland able to get the ball out, a foot race, and it will be in the, in the feet of Lexi Rusager who works it in, but good defense by Dow to kick it out. And a nice attempt by the defender for Dow, but it will go out of bounds. That being Jordan Dana had two corner kicks, both unsuccessful, the hustle on defense, both sides of the ball. Midland, a good opportunity, but it will be deflected out of bounds by Lucy T. This will be the first opportunity for the Chemex for a corner kick. Here is the corner kick for Midland. And this one hit right back and it will be Dow's possession.
Jordan Dana doing a little bit of everything early in this contest for now. We'll now kick it. And she will send it. Now into the possession of Midland. Back and forth action so far. Played about eight minutes of contest, no goals for either team. Dow was on offense most of that beginning section. Now Midland having a few minutes of offense. This one will go out of bounds and flip possession. Elizabeth Avery, just a sophomore, will throw it in. She'll pass it to her teammate. Good footwork from Kylie Chartier, one of the senior leaders for this Charger team, as another throw-in will happen and back into the feet of Chartier. And Dow working it now, getting it into the offense. Kicked back to the goalie, deflected by a Charger attacker. And Midland will do a nice job of kicking the ball out and giving it on their offense. have a throw in from the opposite side of the field. This being Paige Freed, a freshman defender, will throw it in for the Chemex. And Erickson is able to do a nice job coming to get the ball to stop any further offensive attacking opportunities for the Chemex as she'll throw it in. She'll actually kick it in and she kicks a long kick and now will flip possession over to the Chargers. Schwartz has the ball. Splits through three, Chemex gets it up. Here's the first shot and it will go in for the Chargers. The first goal of the afternoon. Elena Shaw with the first goal as the Dow Chargers take an early one to nothing lead. The good footwork from Ashlyn Schwartz was able to pass it over to her teammate Elena Schalk was able to then kick it right past the diving Scott for the first goal of the contest. Dow takes an early one to nothing lead. We'll take a look at this replay. You see is able one-on-one -on -one opportunity to kick it right past the diving Maddie Scott and that's how the first goal happens for the Chargers. It looked like we had an injury on that last sequence of events. Being helped off the field by the trainers and the coach for Midland. Charger goal by Elena Schock, assisted by Ashlyn Swartz. Ashlyn Schwartz will be credited with that assist on that play. Elena Schalk credited for the goal as we're back underway as now the Chemex will take possession. Down now, Reed takes possession and a good deflection by Lucy Kripe, that senior defender, one of the captains for this Chemic team, as they able to slow things down and will force a, a throw in from Avery. Throws it in, works it over to Shaw, who scored that goal for the Chargers just a moment ago. Good speed by Kennedy Caldwell is able to throw it into now Avery, who's doing most of the throw-ins for the Chargers. Caldwell and Avery, a little back and forth action for the Chargers now with possession of Caldwell. She kicks it in. Up, 
Now things will flip possession as Maddie Scott will get ready to kick it in. Actually, it's going to be Lucy Kripe will kick it in that defender. Here's that kick, and it will go over to her Kemet teammate. Works it up and is able to flip the field as now the Chargers will take possession down in their own territory. That will be Avery once again with a throw in. Here's that throw in from Avery. This one is able to get past two Chemex, but not the third as Chloe Rajewski is able to intercept it and now Midland with possession. Dow scored the first goal of the contest. That was scored by Elena Schalk. Midland trying to answer. But this Dow offense doing well so far. Whistle called by the referee. And now possession will flip over to Kripe with the Chemex as she'll kick it in. Here is that kick, and this one goes to over to Chloe Rajewski. And once again, this Charger defender is able to get the possession back as Avery, Elizabeth Avery, will throw it in once again on the close side of the field. Possession will now Flip to Midland as Lauren Shepard, a defender, will throw it in. She's able to find her teammate. But once again, Elizabeth Avery able to steal that ball and get it back to their side of the field. Schalk with the ball. She scored the first goal for the Chargers, able to work it up to Hannah Redmond on the opposite side of the field. This time, Lucy Kripe once again is able to give a booming kick that goes all the way back to the Charger defenders and they'll reset their possession. Elizabeth Avery now has possession, working it up. and is able to, it deflects off of her and will go back to the Chemex. Throw in by Lauren Shepard. Jordan Dano with possession for the Chargers. Able to kick it up, just goes a little bit too far from her teammate, Kylie Chartier, and Midland will have possession. Jackie Brown kicking it out of bounds. Possession flips over, going back and forth in these last couple of minutes. No shot since that shot on goal that scored for Schalk. And Lexi Rusager will hit the ground and possession will stay with the Kemmings. The high flying kick from Lucy Kripe. As it is headed off by Jordan Danda, now possession will finally end up Midland's way. A couple of headers for the Chargers and Elizabeth Avery will just kick it out to reset. Lauren Shepard, the senior defender for this Chemic team will throw it in as we have a sub, we have some substitutions going on for Midland. Shepard throws it in. And once again, these defenders for the Chargers are able to take the ball. Now it's Hannah Redmond is able to split between the defenders before kicking it up.
opposite side of the field. Midland having possession of the ball. They've gotten down here a couple of times, haven't gotten that shot that they need, haven't gotten a goal yet as they still have a zero. The only goal scored so far from Elena Schalk. That one was assisted by Ashlyn Schwartz. And Jackie Brown will send a high flying kick and Lauren Eric, or Jessica Erickson, excuse me, will just jump up and tap it out. The first opportunity for Midland to score as a nice stop by Jessica Erickson. Should be a corner kick. It will be Chargers ball as Jordan Dana will send a kick in to try to flip the field. Swartz once again splitting through some Kemic defenders before passing it up and Lucy Kripe will just send it out of bounds to let the defenders and let reset happen. Here's the throw in. That throw in from Kylie Chartier. Another opportunity for the Chargers. There's Shock again. Caldwell now has it. Caldwell shoots. And so close as it will go right past the goal. The good duo of Kennedy Caldwell and Elena Shock almost scores again for the Chargers, but just missed outside. And Kripe will now kick it in once again. Here's that booming kick and is able to flip the field as also Midland able to keep possession of that ball. The first throw in attempt knocked out by the body of a Charger player and will throw it in once again, able to move up the field. The second throw in headed out of bounds by a Charger and she'll just move quickly up the field. The third time, this one headed by a Kemic and now possession will switch over to the Chargers and that throw in will stay in bounds. And Lucy Kripe will kick it in the air once again. Both teams working back and forth with the throw in, then being headed out of bounds, able to move up the field that way. This one sent to the goal by Ainsley Newcomb and is able to just be corralled by Jessica Erickson. Erickson, the goalkeeper for the Chargers, still kick it high in the air. This one will flip the field. Every time Midland having an opportunity, the defense, the defenders of Dow doing a good job of able to get possession as Kennedy Caldwell, the speed just a little bit too far as she's unable to get it and will go into the hands of Maddie Scott. Scott will kick it from the goalie. This one headed by a defender and actually pay off for the Chemics as Lexi Rusager will end up getting the ball very close and she'll shoot it and it will roll right into the hands of Jessica Erickson as we have hit that halfway point in the first half. Under 20 minutes to go, the only goal scored from Dow was they have a current one to nothing lead. Now playing aggressive on defense, trying to get those stops. And they will do just that as Elizabeth Avery will throw it in once again. Field already flipped now on Dow side of the field. However, the Chemics do have the ball working towards their side. Possession flips, and the pass will go just outside past of Kylie Chartier, unable to get it, as we'll let it roll out of bounds. Yeah, 
Jordan Dana was able to steal that ball, but battling between her and Lexi Rusager of Midland. Rusager hit the ground and possession now goes Midland's way. And Kripe once again will kick it in. Will send it high in the air as she does so, flipping the field. And works out as she's able to move about 40 yards closer to her goal with that kick as it was out of bounds from the Chargers as the throw in from Lauren Shepard. That's another opportunity for the Chemics to tie this game up at one apiece. A solid battle between Chloe Rajewski and Elizabeth Avery. Avery winning that is able to get the possession and a collision as Kripe and Schalk both hit the turf as Schalk is able to hop back up before passing it to her teammate. This being Kennedy Caldwell. Caldwell and Schalk both having possession and a good stop by the Chemics able to kick it out. A dangerous opportunity for Dow. Elizabeth Avery now has the ball. Gets tied up with Sydney Schaefer, and Schaefer doing a nice job of able to taking the ball and kicking it out. Good job, Jordan Dana, wearing number 11 for now, is gonna throw it in. We'll actually pass it off to her teammate, Elizabeth Avery, as several substitutions happening for the Chargers. Lindsey Hart and Busy Haydenick checking into the game for the Chargers, among others. Head coach for Dow, Spencer Sandow, making a few changes, getting some of his starters a breather. The head coach for the Chemics, Rodrigo Barassi. <laughs> Newly entered into the game, Lucy Teed is able to have possession before working it over to Kennedy Caldwell. Hart will transfer it over to Reagan King as they'll work the ball to the other side of the field, giving Kennedy Caldwell sort of a breather. She's still in the game. Her and Schalk, the main contributors to this Dow offense. Paige Freed, number 23 for Kevix battling on defense, doing a Nice job of keeping the ball in front of her. And that one will roll out of bounds and will stay in possession of Dow. I believe this will be another corner kick and that will mean Jordan Dana will head over to do that. She's had two so far. One where she is now, one on the opposite side of the field. Hasn't worked yet both times. Kicked it a little bit too high of her teammates able to just fly over as she will have a third attempt. This one stopped and a almost perfect opportunity for Kennedy Caldwell and Ashlyn Schwartz. Both of them had an opportunity to kick that in. Both unable to do so and now they'll run back as Lucy Kripe will now send it over. Alex to not do that high kick. She get a little bit of a give and go action as she passed it to her teammate, got it back and then kicked it in the air. And it seemed to have worked as she passed it over to her teammate. And Midland has possession. Ainsley Newcomb working up the field. But once again, Elizabeth Avery doing a good job to, if not take it herself, make it tough for the Chemic offense and able to get that. Working it up. Both teams going back and forth ever since that Dow goal. It was. Dow on offense early most of that first half. They then scored the goal. Midland able to contain that offense a little bit as no goals have been scored since then. Another opportunity stopped by the Chemics as they now send it down. Lexi Rusager now has it with an opportunity and Jordan Dana will cut right in front of her and take it away. Bruce Sager 
is able to stop, kick it in. And this one will roll past the goal as Erickson will run over and stop it for the Chargers. Jordan Dana will kick it in for Dow. As she sends it high into the air. And after a head head attempt from the Chemex, it will go Dow's way. Dow working quickly. Schwartz is able to pass it. But once again, Lucy Kripe, one of the defenders for Midland, is able to do a good job. Rusager now has it. Rusager shoots, and it goes right into the chest of Jessica Erickson. Another shot attempt for Midland, but no goals so far. Had a very good opportunity. Lexi Rusager, the senior forward, but shot it right into the hands of Erickson. Erickson not even having to move before stopping that ball. And now Dow will keep possession. And Erickson will call her defender teammates off as she'll come and pick up the ball. And we will be able to send it high in the air, flipping the field. Goes high in the air to Hart. It goes right past Hart. And now Kennedy Caldwell. Caldwell, excuse me, will have the ball. Dow working and had Caldwell streaking down the field, but intercepted by Lauren Shepard. Shepard's not there. That could have been dangerous as Caldwell was running and no one was near her. Shepard throws it in. Working over to Karen Hovemeyer, number 19 now having possession, the sophomore defender, as they'll get the ball over to the other side of the field. Bruce Sager working up the field and once again is stopped, this time by Tristan Lewick, number 14, doing a good job of disrupting Bruce Sager's path to the goal. And even though they don't get possession, they stop things, able to reset. A throw in by Midland. Will once again go out of bounds and this time possession will change. Jordan Dana will kick it in. She'll send it in the air. Parachemics are able to head that back to possession, keeping with the Chargers. The pass not being able to be stopped, and now Midland has been on offense for a couple minutes. Under 10 minutes to go, the only goal from Dow. Chargers currently lead one to nothing. But ever since that first goal, they've really only had one other solid opportunity. Was missed by inches, would have been that second goal. But other than that, both teams doing well. A close game, close first half between these rival schools. Jackie Brown will now send it in for the Chemex. Jackie Brown resets the ball and this will be a, a good opportunity as she sends it high into the air. And this one going just outside of the goal. And possession will be flipped once again. Jordan Dana will send it deep into the air for the Chargers. Runs up and kicks it. 
Nice header by Midland, but possession will stay as that'll flip now over to the Chemex possession. Cindy Schaefer sends it into the air. This one not turning. It's stopped by Erickson as she'll hit, kick it before picking it up at the eight minute mark. Eight minutes remaining left in this first half between these two schools. As Erickson will kick it high into the air right around the midfield area. Possession flipping back and forth. And a beautiful defensive kick actually leaves the fence and is heading into the parking lot behind us as a fan will go get the ball. Good defensive play. As we'll go back to the game as it's thrown in. And once again, Elizabeth Avery doing a nice job. Now in a possession of Caldwell and a good stop by Lucy Kripe, able to keep the ball away from Kennedy Caldwell. That speed of Caldwell, dangerous if you let her get a running start. Karen Hovemeyer will run in and pass it over to her teammate Lauren Shepard. As Shepard will throw it in, not from the corner, but right there near that area, is able to throw it in. And a shot attempt by Sydney Schaefer goes over the heads of both the Charger and the Chemex, but a nice job by Jessica Erickson, able to read that ball and able to catch it to not allow that goal. As she'll send it high into the air. Flipping the field, back and forth action. Both teams having some sort of possession as they will try to pass it to Caldwell once again, this time headed by Lauren Shepard. Caldwell now has the ball. She goes in and she'll pass it to her teammate and a shot. This one will go outstretched. Another good opportunity for the Chargers. as more substitutions will occur. That was Busy Haydenick who was able to face up Maddie Scott, able to left-handed kick it, just went a little bit out of bounds as Kripe will now send it. Midland working quickly, trying to set up that ball, but once again, the defense of the Chargers doing a good job. Elizabeth Avery now has it, working it up to Caldwell. And Lauren Shepard doing a nice job of containing Caldwell. Kennedy Caldwell has the speed. If she can get around these Chemic defense, she can do a good job and have a goal scoring opportunity. But the defender, the senior defender, Lauren Shepard, keeping Caldwell at bay. Schalk now has it, working it to Maddie Estes. Estes shot and a good job by Lucy Kripe to deflect it out of bounds. And we will have another corner from Jordan Dana. Has had, she has shot all the corner kicks for the Chargers. This being the second goal kick on this side of the field. And here is this corner kick. And the whistle will blow before it even landed and the possession will go back to Midland. Ref will kick it over to Lucy Kripe who has been doing this her role every time. The possession flips, she'll go and kick it high into the air, flipping the field for this Chemic team. And she'll do so once again this time. Good job by Anna Schwartz is able to get it over to Schalk. And Kripe will just kick it out of bounds. Two of the Chargers better players, both now getting a breather with the final three and a half minutes. That being Elizabeth Avery, number four, Kennedy Caldwell, number 23 as 
Piper Beal, the sophomore, will now throw it in. Beal coming in for Avery. Claire Caldwell, just a freshman, coming in for Caldwell. With just over three minutes remaining in this first half, Coach Sando of Dow electing to give some of his starters a breather. One person staying in the game is Lucy Teed as she's able to send it up. A little battle between Caldwell and Rajewski. And now Lauren Shepard will throw it in for the Chemex. Possession switching between both teams on closest to our end here at the field. And Ashlyn Schwartz will just try to send it in, but it goes out of bounds before she can do so. Shepard will once again throw it in, and once again will go out of bounds. That being Kimmy Wiggins, the senior forward, will kick it out of bounds as possession flips. Both teams trying to end this first half on a positive note with about two minutes remaining. Dow trying to extend this lead. Midland trying to answer, even just keep it at the one goal differential. Ainsley Newcomb has the ball taken by Dana of the Chargers. Dana working it up the field, is able to send it down and Chalk will try to get it, and she's able to, unable to get it, hit the that flag right in the corner. She was inches away from being able to corral that ball for the Chargers. Clock ticking at that 120 mark. We're just a minute away from halftime here in this first half between the Chargers and the Chemex Dow. Having that goal early, Ever since then, we haven't had that many shots from either team, both having a couple opportunities to score a goal. None have done so far as a throw in by the Chargers. A couple last offensive attempts for both teams as there's under a minute to play in this first half. Dana now having the ball and Shepard will just send it out of bounds. Dana working quickly, trying to get that opportunity, throws it in. Lauren Shepard now has the ball, and Shepard will just send it down the field. Reagan King working it, and Lucy Teen will just send it out of bounds with under 30 seconds remaining. Lauren Shepard will throw it in to end the first half. Karen Hovemeyer will send it out of bounds and that will most likely be the last action we see in this first half. They're right at midfield. Not close enough to get and that horn will sound and that is the end of the first half. The lone goal coming from Elena Shawk assisted by Ashlyn Schwartz and that will end the first half Dow leading one to nothing. We'll come back for that second half action between the two schools. down one half to go at Dow High School between the Chargers and the Chemex. In that first half, Dow scored the lone goal of the first half as Chemex head coach Rodrigo Barassi talking to his team before this second half. The lone goal coming from the feet of Elena Schalk. The assist came from Ashlyn Schwartz. 
and it has been a back and forth affair from both teams. It started out pretty much all down. They had most of the shots, most of the possession. They scored that goal relatively early, and then ever since then, Midland had done a nice job defensively, making sure that they didn't give up those goals. Kennedy Caldwell for now was very quiet after a couple of early shot attempts, and we'll see how this second half goes between these two rival schools as both teams making their way back onto the field for this second half. Midland will start with the ball. Grace Kapanski in the middle for the Chemics. Awaiting the whistle from the referee to get us started in this second half. 40 minutes on the clock. Sticks the hand up and we are underway in this second half. Clock is moving as the Chemics have possession. And immediately, Midland will keep possession working it down. Teams are flipping sides for this second half. Dow now going right to left. Midland going left to right. Caldwell has the ball for the first time in the second half and will work it over to teammate Reagan King. Elizabeth Avery is now on the opposite side of the field. As Avery almost able to save it, unfortunately was unable to, and now Lauren Shepard will throw it in for the Kevins. So the good footwork, able to pass it up to Manny Estes, working it down, and Lauren Shepard will just send it out of bounds. And as play will reset, Kylie Chartier will throw it in. And Lexi Rusager and Elizabeth Avery both hitting the turf for both teams and possession will stay the Chargers way. Jordan Dana will kick it in. Her and Reagan King on your screen right now. Dana looking to get it in for a goal attempt. Here's that kick. This one high in the air and will go just past, past the outstretched Kennedy Caldwell and will roll out of bounds. The first attempt for Dow this second half. Kreit will send it in for the Chemex. She'll send it high in the air, but Reagan King is able to make it hit the ground and Dow will keep possession or take possession over from the Chemex. Another throw in from Lauren Shepard over to her teammate, Sydney Schaefer. This one out of bounds by Elizabeth Avery. As Schaefer will now throw it in. Reagan King is able to intercept that ball and send it out. Estes had it and then was right back in the feet of Midland. Hannah Redmond has it. Tried to pass it to Caldwell, intercepted by Rajewski as Redmond will just kick it back out of bounds. And the first throw in on this side of the field will be from Paige Free, just a freshman at Defender. Th able to successfully throw it in, working it in. Rajewski has it, works it over to Sager. Back to Freed, Freed kicks it high in the air and almost got over. 
Jessica Erickson, what a good stop. That was a good attempt from Paige Free. Just a freshman kicked it high in the air so none of the defenders could corral it. The only person in her way from a goal was Jessica Erickson, able to stick the gloves in the air and able to corral it down. Maddie Scott able to run over and get the ball. As Scott will now kick it high into the air. Freed has it, sends it high in the air. A foot race for the ball. And Dana will able to keep it. And Dana will just let it run out of bounds. It'll actually be Dow's ball. Good job by Dana to not just kick it out of bounds and to play it. Able to go out of bounds off of a Kemic foot. And now Estes is going to send it back to the defenders. They'll transfer it over to the other side of the field and set up their possession. Elizabeth Avery once again with the ball, working past Sydney Schaefer, and it goes out of bounds. Avery losing it, possession flipping to Midland. Reagan King has it, working it up to Caldwell. Caldwell unable to get it, and it will go out of bounds. There's that blazing speed from Kennedy. Caldwell almost had it, but Paige Freed able to let that roll out of bounds, and it will be their possession. Freed throws it in. And Dow will just transfer it over. King passing it up to Avery. Avery sending it in the middle as Estes was tripped from behind from Karen Hovemeyer. And so now Jordan Dana will have the ball. Dana will have an opportunity to kick it in. Last time she did, almost went in going out of bounds. And here's another opportunity. The kick from Dana. This one goes right into the chest of Maddie Scott. So another opportunity for now. Not able to happen as the defense of the Kemmicks. Ever since giving up that first goal back in the first half. Has done a nice job defensively keeping this lead at one. Caldwell and Rajewski battling for it. And Caldwell will win that battle. She's able to pass it over to her teammate, working the ball around, and now will transfer it over to the field. Once again, Elizabeth Avery has it. Avery working the, up the field, able to send it, and Estes has it. Estes working it over to Ashlyn Schwartz. Schwartz had that assist all the way back in the first half. Skopansky, a nice pass, and Erickson will just run in from the goal area and pick it up. Erickson will kick it, send it high into the field, over to Caldwell. Caldwell able to stop it with her body, able to get it past Paige Freed, and a little bit of action for now, and Immediately stopped by Paige Freed, having a strong start to the second half. Almost scored that goal, able to be make sure to stop Kennedy Caldwell for now and keep this momentum. No team has really any momentum. Dow had some early, able to capitalize on that with a goal. But since then, both teams playing back and forth, a close game in the first half and a even closer in this start of the second. Ball will roll out of bounds. It will be thrown in from Kylie Chartier. This one a good throw in, but Midland able to take back possession, working it back around. Oh. 
Schaefer will send it deep into their territory as Dana will just send it back to Erickson as Erickson will keep it alive and send it over to Elizabeth Avery. When you can't see the screen, you can't see the Avery kicks it high in the air on the far side of the field as Kripe gonna kick it out of bounds. It actually deflected off of the foot of Elena Salk. So Kripe is actually gonna keep possession as Lauren Shepard will go and throw it in right in front of the Midland bench. It was able to throw it in, work it back towards our side of the field. As Rajewski now with possession being defended by Reagan King is able to work the ball past Midland. Doing a good job as Reagan King is able to take that ball away and just send it out of bounds. Lucy Kripe will now walk over for this throw in. Kripe and Lauren Shepard, a pair of seniors, a pair of senior defenders for this Kemic team have both done a nice job so far. Dow, Dow has possession in the hands of Kennedy Caldwell. No one to pass it to as Midland's defense was there. Caldwell now gets the ball back, passes it into Estes. Estes shoots it, and Estes scores the second goal. Maddie Estes, the junior, able to get the ball and send it in past the diving. Maddie Scott and now Maddie takes Estes. a two to zero lead. Let's take a look at this replay one more time. It started with Kennedy Caldwell, able to send the ball over to Estes, kind of had trouble with it, able to split the defender, and then fire and shoot it and score it past the outstretched dive from Maddie Scott. As that, 10 minutes into the second half, Dow takes a second goal, making things much more difficult for Midland in hopes of a comeback. Two goal scorers so far. Schalk scored that first goal. Maddie Estes with the second goal. That's how Dow has both of their goals. As once again, another throw in from Dow. Elizabeth Avery currently ball in her hands as she'll throw it in in play as Kripe will just send it high in the air, actually stays in possession. But once again, this Dow offense and defense getting it over to Kennedy Caldwell. Caldwell able to pass it over to Hannah Redmond. And coming out of nowhere, Jackie Brown is able to take that ball away. Jackie Brown doing a nice job of keeping possession as Schaefer now has it. Schaefer sends it deep into the field. Savannah Wills an attempted for it. Also Ainsley Newcomb both unable to get it. And once again, there is Elizabeth Avery doing everything for this Charger team. Kylie Chartier sends it over to Estes who scored that last goal for now. Works it up to Schalk who scored the first goal. Just unable to get it as it goes out of bounds. Another golden opportunity for the Chargers. They had numbers just unfortunately going out of bounds for now as the Chemex will have possession. They'll send it deep. Lauren Shepard kicking it, but once again stopped by Dana. Bruce Sager and Redmond both battling for the ball. Redmond will win that battle as she gets it over to Estes. Elizabeth Avery dribbling past Ainsley Newcomb, dribbling past Lauren Shepard again before passing it to her teammate, getting it into Schalk. Now Estes fires, and this one stopped by Maddie Scott. Estes trying to get her second goal of the contest, but Maddie Scott 
able to stop it. The junior goalkeeper has given up two goals so far. One in the first half, one coming into the second half. Lucy Kripal now gets to kick it in from around this midfield area as normally much back farther when she has kicked it in. She has sent it pretty far away. We'll see how far she's able to send it on this kick. More of a line drive kind of kick as it goes to the left. It goes out of bounds. Went past Lauren Shepard as Elizabeth Avery able to throw it in. Fifteen minutes have passed in this second half. Dow extending their lead, making it two to nothing off of the foot of Estes. <laughs> Avery throws it in over to Schalk, and there is Lucy Kripe with the strong defense as she'll just knock it out of bounds with her body. But Elizabeth Avery will move up the field. Once again, another throw in. She'll get the ball back before she kicks it down as Schalk and Kripe going back and forth. This time going out of bounds by off of Kripe as Avery will just keep moving up the field. Jordan Dana now running over to send it in for the Chargers. throwing it in is they will get an opportunity to extend their lead this kick from Dana stopped by the Kemic defense King now has it King sends it this one going nearly in the goal but it, Maddie Scott just letting that go out of bounds as Savannah Willis will send it in Correction, that's Jackie Brown able to pass it and get it back before working it up. Intercepted by Estes, Schalk shoots it, and the diving Maddie Scott almost went in, almost got the save, but it went out of bounds. Schalk looking for her second goal of the contest. This one going past the outstretched hands of Maddie Scott. Luckily for Midland, that one going out of bounds as Lucy Kripe will now send it in, kicking it deep into the air. Caldwell almost had it, went through her legs actually, as will be kicked out of play. Midland now working quickly, as it is intercepted by Dana. Dana taking on Chloe Rajewski, and Dana's able to take possession from Rajewski and work it as she transfers it over to none other than Elizabeth Avery, who brings it up the field. Kimmy Wiggins now has the ball for Midland. Bruce Sager has the ball, able to get past a Charger defender. And the good closing speed of Ashlyn Schwartz. Schwartz is just able to kick it out of bounds and a throw in attempt from Paige Freed. She throws it in. Paige Freed almost had that goal, is able to kick it in as she will get another opportunity this time to throw it in. Freed, just throw it in to Bruce Sager. Bruce Sager keeps it in bounds, but it's taken it from Schwartz. Schwartz and Bruce Sager going back and forth as Freed just keeps moving up the field. Now basically in the corner as she will throw it in for the Chemics. Chemics looking to get on the scoreboard for the first time today is the throw in from Freed. Schwartz now will get it, and Schwartz will just let it go out of bounds. Now Bruce Sager will run and get it. Going to be a corner kick, the first one of the second half. This one being kicked by Lexi Bruce Sager, the senior forward. Here is this corner kick. This one goes high in the air. Is headed by Pekemic. That was number 24, Ainsley Newcomb. But Heads up, goalkeeping from 
Jessica Erickson, and she is able to stop it. Caldwell to Estes, back and forth. Estes up to Schalk. Schalk is going to be unable to get it as Maddie Scott is able to run and dive on that ball. The pass from Estes just a little bit out of Schalk's reach as Scott was able to read that, run up, and dive on the ball to keep pos or flip possession over to Midland. <laughs> King, a good kick, sends it down into the zone. Busy Haydenick gonna send it over to Shaw, but Lauren Shepard is gonna head that out of bounds. And this will be a corner kick as Jordan Dana will run down. This is the first corner kick in the second half for Dow with Jordan Dana. She had about four corner kicks in the first half. Unable to score on any of them in the first half. She'll try to extend this lead in the second half at just about the halfway point. Here comes the corner kick from Dana high in the air. Hart is able to get it, but unable to get it in. Hart had a perfect opportunity. And even though Dow will keep possession, a big opportunity lost for the Chargers. Caldwell had it stopped by Hovemeyer. And Hannah Redmond will throw it in over to Caldwell. Caldwell trying to kick it back to Redmond. Redmond had then moved as Freed for Midland will throw it in. Estes shielding Sydney Schaefer from getting the ball, able to work it over. Trying to get it to the other side of the field. And beautifully done is by Reagan King. Over to Elizabeth Avery. Intercepted by Kimmy Wiggins for Midland. And now Midland will take possession. Freed able to send it down, but Rusager unable to get it as it will get kicked high into the air by Hannah Redmond. Here is once again another throw and attempt from Elizabeth Avery. This one headed out of bounds right in that Midland bench area. Kimmy Wiggins now with it. Kimmy Wiggins and Reagan King battling for it. Reagan King able to disrupt that action on that play. No one near feeds it over to Hart. Gets it over to Caldwell as Caldwell moves back to the middle of the field, flipping it, passing it over to Avery on the other side. Avery working quickly up the field. Splits a few defenders, passes it over. A kick attempt stopped as Estes now has it. Then opportunity for Dow stopped by the Chemex. Over the halfway point in this second half, just under 18 minutes remaining in this game, Dow has a two to nothing lead over the Chemex in this rivalry matchup between these two schools battling back and forth. It's been a good game. Dow got a goal early, able to get a goal in the second half. Midland unable to have any offense. They've gotten a few close looks, but nothing to show for it so far. Both teams making some substitutions at a crucial point in this game. Grace Kapansky, the defender entering the game for Midland as Lucy Kreif is going to send it in once again. Kreif sends it high into the air and will go to Grace Rajewski. Rajewski able to 
get the ball past Reagan King, but is poked away by Tristan Lewick, now checking into the game for the first time in the second half for the Chargers. Midland having an offensive attempt, has some numbers, is able to kick it into Rajewski, and just unable, as Ainsley Newcomb had it. The whistle is gonna blow dead. We'll wait to see what happens. Referee calling it out as Midland is going to keep possession of this ball. Jackie Brown, the senior midfielder, will kick it. A trio of chargers right in front of her. That's Shulk, Reagan King, and Kennedy Caldwell there trying to deflect it. They start jumping up and down. Here's the kick. It gets past the trio, but right into the hands of Erickson and another opportunity gone to waste by the Chemics as the strong defense, the strong goalie play of Erickson as she'll send it high into the air. Headed by Caldwell, and it will run back as Jackie Brown will now just send it back. Little give and go action as Jackie Brown, unable to corral it, it'll go out of bounds, and it will reset. Schwartz entering the game now for Schalk, as Schalk will get a breather with about 15 minutes remaining in this second half. Now trying to extend their lead. Midland trying to cut into that deficit. They would have to score two goals in 15 minutes. Rajewski has the ball, is defended by Hart. Hart doing a nice job as Rajewski almost was able to get around Hart, but was unable to, the whistle blowing as it's gonna stay possession with Midland. Paige Freed will now kick it in. Freed running to listen to the order calls from her teammate, sends it high right down the field and this one will bounce out of bounds before anyone can corral it as it will flip possession. Redmond now will throw it in. Redmond. Able to get it to Caldwell, but the strong defense by Midland able to retake possession. Rajewski had it, but was stepping outside that out of bounds, like right directly in front of us. A possession will flip over. Here's the throw in from Redmond. Right next to this out of bounds line, there's Redmond and Rusager battling for it. They both hit the ground and will go into the feet of Rajewski. Now Kennedy Caldwell is able to strip it. Both teams battling back and forth, battling hard. These two rival schools. And Elizabeth Avery once again able to kick it over to Haydenick. The possession now will flip. Lucy Kripe once again able to just send it. Newcomb has it with about four chargers, is able to weave around all four of them, send it over to Bruce Sager, as Bruce Sager unable to get that down. And Redmond will now throw it in. And before Redmond gets to throw it in, she will be subbed out for a charger teammate who will run all the way across the field to throw it in. And she'll throw it in. That being Anna Early entering the game, a senior. Her throwing it back and forth with fellow junior Kennedy Caldwell. Midland, an opportunity to Sager kicks it high into the air, but stopped by Teed. But here's Newcomb and Teed battling back. They're gonna say it went out of bounds last off of Teed. As Rusager will head to the corner, Lexi Rusager, a senior forward, trying to score a goal. They're down two goals with 12 minutes remaining in this second half and in this game. And a whistle will blow before the corner kick. Ref talking with the Chargers in the goal. Rusager looking to get it into a a header opportunity. 
to crack the scoreboard for Midland. <laughs> Here's the corner kick for Rusager, kicks it high into the air. Header attempt, kicked by Newcomb, and it will go right into the hands of Erickson. Erickson rolling it out. And the speed of Caldwell coming out of nowhere is able to make sure that Midland doesn't get possession. Another close opportunity for the Kemics, just unable to do anything about it. They had perfect opportunity as Erickson was able to jump in front of a Kemic to corral that ball in that last quarter kick attempt as Kreif will just send it high in the air, will actually stay in possession as for a brief moment as Elizabeth Avery was able to take it. Midland playing a little bit more aggressive now, realizing that they have 11 minutes to score not one, but two goals. They've had a couple more opportunities than they did in the first half, as Paige Free is able to battle over to Rusager. Rusager gets it past Early, but is unable to get it past Jordan Dana. Is Dana able to send it down? Jackie Brown and Paige Free battling back and forth as now Caldwell is going to throw it in. Fatigue starting to set in for both teams as playing for over 55 minutes combined. 40 minutes in the first half now with 10.30 left in this second half. A little more of those passes, not as crisp, a little more balls going out of bounds, a little more turnovers for both teams. Midland has had a lot more opportunities to score a goal. They've gotten close a couple of times, most notably off of that Rusager corner kick a moment ago as Rusager heads it, will go over to Teed. Possession mostly staying with the Chemex, or at least on the Chemex side of the field. Yet no goals to show for it as Jackie Brown is gonna send it in. And once again, Elizabeth Avery is able to send a deep kick as it flips the field. Right, we'll do the same for Midland. Rajewski now has it. Working it over, Jackie Brown. Got it past one, Charger, unable to second, and now Caldwell has it with room to run. Caldwell, a little stop and start action, able to go back to the middle of the field. Multiple Kendricks trying to stop her. Caldwell gets up the field before getting stopped by the whistle as Dano will now come in and kick it. Jordan Dano will now send it in for. Now before we get that, we're gonna get a substitution. As Lindsey Hart, the sophomore, will head to the bench. Claire Caldwell now entry. The referee will stop and go talk to the scorer's table. A quick discussion as he'll run back into the field and we'll get things going. Shortly as Jordan Dana awaiting the go from the official to send it in. Whistle blows as the time starts running. She sends it in and Maddie Scott will save it in the goal for Midland. Scott kicks it high into the air. We'll go possession to the Chargers. Elizabeth Avery able to flip possession as clock now becoming a factor for both teams. Midland needing to score two goals within the final eight minutes of the contest now, just trying to keep the ball away and let some time run off the clock as Lucy Teen will just send it out of bounds. Looked like she was going to attempt to pass it to teammate Anna Early, unable to do so. 
as the clock will stop. There is a discussion a point from the referee. Elizabeth Avery leaving the field. The clock will be stopped with seven minutes and 55 seconds remaining. A throw in from her Sager. Midland having to work quickly. Grace Kapansky now has it, number 21, over to Paige Freed. And the good defense from Caldwell is Freed had to kick it around Caldwell and it goes out of bounds. They're actually gonna say that it deflected off Caldwell before Freed had kicked it out of bounds. So Freed will now run up and throw it in over to Rusager. This is exactly what you want if you're the Chargers. Just letting that time run without any shots on goal from Midland. And even better, they're able to send it back as Kreit kicks it high into the air. This one goes over the goal. As another opportunity, Lucy Kreit kicked it from the back, went high and just over the goal. Erickson jumping. And now Jordan Dano will send it in. Headed by Jackie Brown. Ainsley Newcomb now gonna have it, kicks it, but then intercepted by Dow. Schultz making a girl miss over to Estes. The two goal scorers for this Charger team, Schultz scoring in the first half, Estes scoring in half number two with under 6.30 to play. That's your score, and that's how both of those goals came. Scott now sends it in the air. Midland having to work quickly. Brown is able to send it, but Teague will just kick it out of bounds, looking to waste some time. Rusager working quickly, is able to throw it and bounces off the body of Anna Early. Rusager quickly working, knowing the importance of this, having to score quickly. Over to Newcomb and a good stop by the Chargers. Estes able to get that ball and get it over to Schalk. Schalk and Kimmy Wiggins battling for it. And now Rusager once again has possession. Jordan Dana intercepted. No chemics around her. Able to get it into their possession before sending it down. Not necessarily concerned about scoring at this point, almost just playing keep away, able to waste some clock as we are about five minutes remaining left in this second half. Chargers taking their time on this throw in. And she will throw it in. Kylie Chartier able to have it, and this one is sent out of bounds, and Jordan Dano will let it roll as she picks it up and leisurely tosses it to her teammate, Ashlyn Schwartz, as she'll now throw it in. Grace Kapansky has it with several chargers around her. Taking under just about the four minute mark. Lucy Kripe moves the ball back and will send it in. Last time she was at this point, she sent it in and just went right over the goal. She does it once again, much closer. An opportunity, Freed is able to kick it as it will go wide. Another opportunity with under four minutes remaining in this second half. Jordan Dana will kick it in for the Chargers as with time running, she will take her time placing the ball before kicking it back in action. Here is that long kick, this one going high in the air. And Sharks here battling for it. Estes is there too, and again, sent down Ashlyn Schwartz 
will go all the way to the other side of the field and force Karen Hovemeyer to just send it out of bounds as Kennedy Caldwell will now throw it in. Caldwell giving it to her teammate Early, Early with the throw in. Early the shot headed by a Quebec defender. Working it back and forth between Caldwell and Shawk. Shawk actually hitting the ground and Midland able to reset. of this second half, about two minutes remaining. Dow, the only team who has scored a goal today, they scored two goals as Kennedy Caldwell unable to save it. There's being just a little bit farther away as Rusager will throw it into Newcomb, but Midland has to work quickly. Jackie Brown now has it, sending it deep into the territory. And Dana will come and get it. Erickson tried to attempt that, but just the wind pushing the ball back towards the way. Wind definitely a factor here today as Erickson now runs in and will catch the ball. Erickson slowly will walk before she will kick it in. A minute 30 remaining in this second half. will kick the ball high in the air. Rajewski had it, hits the turf before kicking the ball out of bounds. And possession will go to Dow. Jordan Dano will look to kick it in as we are under a minute left in this contest. Dow currently leading two to nothing. Dano will send it high into the air headed by Jackie Brown. As the final moments, final opportunities for Midland to crack the scoreboard as Lucy Teed sends that deep as Kripe will now kick it. And we're now at the 32nd mark left to go in this action. Dow with that two to nothing lead. They're 20 seconds away from a huge rivalry win over the Midland Kevics. And Rusager is going to get one last attempt for it. Is able to dribble it, stops it, and is able to pass it over to a teammate. Kimmy will kick it, and it is taken by Erickson, and that should do it with three seconds left. Erickson will just walk the ball, and that will end the contest. The Dow Chargers defeat the Midland Kevics by a score of two to nothing. The two goal scorers for the Dow Chargers. And Elena Shaw, her goal coming back in that first half. Second half, the goal scored by Maddie Estes. And Dow gets a huge rivalry win over the Chemex. So it's a hard fought battle between two rival schools. Dow able to get the victory two to nothing. Getting a look at the Dow Chargers. Waving to the Chemics, doing a great job. This is a rival school. Both teams fought hard. The Dow Chargers winning two to nothing over the Midland Chemics. Shock scoring that goal in the first half. And the second goal coming from Estes. We're gonna take a look at some of the replays from today's action. So you'll wanna watch that as Dow wins two to nothing as they leave the field. Here is that first goal by Shaw. As you see right here, she gets the nice strong leg kick past Maddie Scott, goes past her. That's how the first goal started for the Dow Chargers. And here's the second attempt from Estes. Is Estes able to get it past the defender, the kick and the score. That was the second goal. And that's all it is. And this was a, one of those close attempts from Midland. The header almost going in. There was the kick by Newcomb with slow motion in the air, stopped by Erickson. And that was how it was. Dow 
winning two to nothing over the Midland Chemics and we're able to move on in this big rivalry game. And that is going to wrap up things here from Dow High School. And thank you all for tuning in. This was an exciting ri rivalry game. My name is Caleb Frank. Your final score for the last time, the Dow Chargers two, the Midland Chemics zero.